In this video, we're doing the definition of the derivative, the limit process part two, and we're going to use slightly more difficult functions. We're going to need to move this up and have a little more room here. So first, let's remember what the definition of the derivative is. So that would be the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So clearly we have f of x being 1 over x squared this time. Uh, so let's go ahead and find f of x plus h. So that would be 1 over x plus h squared. And we're going to start by plugging that into the definition of the derivative. So that would be the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x plus h squared minus 1 over x squared all over h. So now our algebra skills are going to have to kick in a little bit. We're going to need to make a common denominator because we have a complex fraction. Let's think of h as h over 1. And let's go ahead and multiply this first fraction by x squared on top and bottom. This second fraction by x plus h squared, top and bottom. That's going to give us a common denominator. So now we've got a limit as h approaches 0 of x squared minus x plus h squared over x squared x plus h squared. There's our common denominator. And now I'm going to take this h over 1, since it's divide by, and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal 1 over h. So now let's go ahead and do some foiling. We've got the limit. As h approaches 0, we have x squared minus x squared plus 2xh plus h squared over x squared times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, uh oh, my square got in the wrong spot there, uh, times 1 over h. Well, so we're going to need to distribute our negative on the top. So uh, we now have limit as h approaches 0. We have x squared minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared over. Let's distribute our x squared. So we've got x to the fourth plus 2x cubed h plus x squared h squared times 1 over h. We can now cross out our x squareds. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. On the top, we have negative 2xh minus h squared. On the bottom, we have x to the fourth plus 2x cubed h plus x squared h squared still times this 1 over h. Well, so on the top, we can factor out an h. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. Take out an h. We have a negative 2x minus h over x to the fourth plus 2x cubed h plus x squared h squared times our 1 over h. Well, now we can cross out those h's. Plug in the 0 for all the h's. So I've got a 0 going there and there and there. So limit h approaches 0. On the top, we have a negative 2x. On the bottom, we only have an x to the fourth. And if we reduce that, we get negative 2 over x cubed. And as we know, that is the derivative of 1 over x squared. Let's try one more. So this time, we're using the limit process to find f prime of x if f of x is the square root of x. Well, so let's start by finding f of x plus h, which is square root of x plus h. Plugging into the definition of the derivative, so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of square root of x plus h minus the square root of x over h. Now let's keep in mind 
this by itself could be a standalone AP question, and you would go, wow, that's the definition of the derivative, so I need to take the derivative of root x. And of course, we all know that's 1 over 2 root x. But if we use the limit process, now we need to be kind of sneaky. We need to use uh, the idea of conjugating the numerator, which means we're going to uh, multiply by root x plus h plus root x, root x plus h plus root x. And that'll rationalize our numerator. So if we FOIL on top, we get the limit as h approaches 0. We get x plus h minus x over h root x plus h plus root x. Combine like terms on the top, the x's go away. The h's now can also cancel. We need a 1 as a placeholder. So now we've got the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over root x plus h plus root x. Plug in our 0, we get 1 over root x plus root x, which gives us 1 over 2 root x. Hope this helps.